Here we go. Spawning down in the bottom right position, representing Mouse Sports, it is Hero Marine. In the blue. And his opponent, spawning up in the top left, representing Clash, it is Raynor. In the red. In the red trunks. Weighing in at Italian. It is Raynor. Hero Marine, by the way, he is half Italian, half German. So, using a little bit of that spaghetti boy, spaghetti boy magic. It's cool to see. We'll have to see what he tries to do with that. Curious Minds, of course, a very, very short rush distance of a map. Uh, pretty cool. There's a lot of wide open spaces, a lot of open areas on this map, but it's also very short. So it kind of balances out in terms of which race it favors. This is like if Beckett Industries were designed well. Beckett Industries, horrible map so poorly designed uh short rush distance with which is all, always going to be good for terran players but then they made incredible tank positions all over the map which is also a big problem because then that also favors terran players it's just not exactly ideal uh we are going to be seeing a Quick second gas, so no fast third commands that are going to be coming down. Nothing too surprising there. We are going to be seeing the drone not getting picked off here just yet, but oh, we'll force the spore crawler. Good job from Hero Marine. Not going to get any lings. Hero Marine's Reaper control has actually gotten very, very good. Very, very good recently. We are going to be seeing the pocket third getting taken from Raynor. Raynor uh, actually got dropped down to the lower bracket versus Spirit in uh, in this qualifier already. So is ZBT the only series he's lost so far? That being said, Spirit looked insane. He looked so damn good. Ooh, nice job with the uh, target fire on that Zergling. They'll take it on down. Not going to be able to prevent the creep tumors though, which is the big thing. What are we going to be seeing? Oh, it's going to be Hellion Liberator out of Hero Marine. Love it. Uh, we're not seeing a tech lab yet, so no stim started up just yet. Which is a little bit surprising, but he's not getting additional marines. So I doubt it's going to be Hellbats. He is actually supply blocked here. That's a little bit unfortunate. Not significantly supply blocked, but, you know, a, a, a non-ideal amount. Not that there's any amount of time to be supply block. Actually, no, there is an ideal amount of time to, play to be supply blocked. Zero. Zero seconds is the ideal amount of time to be supply blocked. Actually, no, that's not even true because there's certain, like, certain times where you want to hit the supply cap while production is finishing on up before you have more available production. Ooh, nice job from your Marine. Going to be able to kick off uh, Creep Tumor right there. Still, does take a little bit of damage on his Hellion. Six Hellions going to be the magic number, it seems, before he swaps off to build some tech labs, build some barracks. Wait, is he going to... What, reactor coming on down? Okay, it's going to be tank production. Uh, tanks up here can seemingly be very scary to deal with. Seems like this is going to be the, the, big, the big point of contention on this map. Spirit already showed us that earlier.
Double Evo going to start up here for Rainer. Faster than... Uh, oh, no, not actually faster. Double NG Bay is already done. Look at Hero Marine just, <laughs> just darting around. <laughs> being a, a bit of a bully with these Hellions. And hey, there's no, there's no safe place for you. More creep tumors being spread forward from Rainer. Really nice stuff. 1-1 uh, one, one going to start up at almost identical timings between these two. A very, very small upgrade lead for Hero Marine. Ooh, looks like he does pick off another creep tumor, though. I was going to say, Rainer forgetting his plus one melee for a little bit. I started the first upgrade when the uh, first Evo Chamber completed. The second one was just, you know, two seconds delayed. That was all it took. Now we're going to see the Lings trying to come in for a wraparound here, and they're going to be able to catch these Hellions. Oh, that is huge, huge damage. And where's the Liberator during all this? It didn't get anything. It didn't get anything at all. Did he even fire a shot? I don't think so. Raynor, he is he is in a fantastic position now. Picking off all those Hellions, he's going to be able to spread his creep easily. Super far forward, and well... This was a point of contention. Now there's going to be creep all over it. All over it. This is going to be very, very difficult here for Hero Marine. He will find a little bit of this creep, and he does have Stim available. Oh, but the Metabacks, they are here in time, just barely. Rainer getting some good target fire on one of those Metabacks, forces the Marines away. And now he'll respread this creep. If he can get these creep tumors back to, well, the finish... He's going to start pushing creep down his opponent's ramp. God, phenomenal play so far from Raynor. God, his creep is already so far advanced. He's getting a fourth and fifth hatchery. Fourth base is complete. 1-1 one, one will complete for Hero Marine. But his armory is very late, and 1-1 one, one for, uh, for Raynor. Only a little bit behind. Ooh, Queen will get transfused up, but does not stay alive. Almost gets the medevac, though. And this creep is going to be respread immediately. 1-1 one, one will complete. Rainer can get immediately up into 2-2. Two, two. He is getting a uh, very quick Hydra Den as well. Scan going to come down. The battle over creep spread is so, so important in this matchup. Bane speed is not yet done. We're going to see a lot of those creep tumors continuing to go down. Stim going to come on in. He is going to target down a couple of Morphing Banes. We'll get another Queen. Oh, I don't know about this. Bailing's going to come on in. Tries to target fire them. Does get a couple. So nicely done. Rainer really needed to prioritize this creep on the right side. But still, this is such a great position for him. 11 Hydras coming on in for Rainer. And Bane Speed now will complete, which is going to make dealing with this little, uh, little attack from Hero Marine so much easier. Double drop on the left side. Going to try and come on in and get something done. Widow Mine in the backfield. Not going to be able to get a connection. Hydra Speed is going to be the... I, I like this. I prefer Hydra Speed first, to be honest. I know Hydra Range is theoretically like, oh, if you're playing defensive, you should get Hydra Range first. I just like Hydra Speed. Widow Mine, one of them only getting one kill, the other one getting eight. Meanwhile, again, Hero Marine moving forward on this left side. Hydras are going to force these units into the medevacs, and Rainer going to get more and more creep being rebuilt here. God, good job from Rainer. He is answering uh, both both attacks very, very effectively. Takes out all the Widow Mines here, still respreading creep very efficiently. And Rainer going to drop a bunch of creep tumors in the middle of the map. The, the everything is just going well for Rainer right now. Hero Marine is doing his best to keep Rainer penned back, but he's having such a difficult time of actually pushing the creep back. He's not, he, he's making sure that Rainer is occupied. That is one thing that's really big. But soon 2-2 is gonna complete for Rainer. And he might just decide to get aggressive. He does have an infestation pit that just finished on up. Can immediately go into Hive now. He's got a pretty decent bank, does Rainer. And his 2-2 is actually just a little bit faster. Like, we're talking, like, 10 seconds, but there have been fights that have been taken with that timing. Now, we're not going to see that here, but it does happen. More uh, scans coming on down. 
I'd love to see how many scans have been thrown out in this game. It's got to be like six just to clear creep. Rainer going to hit in with these Banelings on the third base. He's trying to hit from multiple angles. He is going to find this Bioforce a little bit split up. Banelings going to get in on top of the SCV line. Going to get some huge connections. No, they won't actually. Only a few of the uh, SCVs going down. That being said, he still gets a lot of damage to the army. Does kill nine SCVs, which is pretty decent. Respreads that creep once again during all of this. 80 Zerglings, by the way, just got fired up. And a plus one missile is on the way. We're about to see Hive complete. We don't have a Lurker Den. Yeah, no, he didn't build a Lurker Den. That's not exactly ideal. Will he just go up into uh, Vipers? Oh, there it is. There's the Lurker Den. But because he didn't have that done, he can't get immediately into this, uh, this very, very fast Lurker range or Burrow speed. Um, plus three carapace is going to start up here for Rainer as that hive does complete. There is a planetary fortress here. Oh, I don't know if I like him pushing in, especially since the sensor tower saw that army coming. Rainer? He's got such phenomenal creep spread. How many creep tumors have been picked off? 37. And he still has it mostly across the half set, halfway point of the map in multiple locations. Meanwhile, quad drop coming in on the bottom side. Kira Marine not paying attention. Going to lose the entire drop. Only four Marines left over out of 32. Oh, that's so good for Raynor. Kira Marine has traded very cost efficiently. But does that even really matter? Raynor going to get in on top of his base. Going to take down one of the tanks. That's the plant or the uh, Orbital Command. Will get actually... Does he get that last tank? No, he does not. But he gets two tanks. Five SCVs, cleans up the army on the right side. Pure Marine, he is a little bit supply blocked, so he drops a couple of depot top hats. But those are those are frontline depots. They're I mean I guess if they're gonna go down, like you're probably gonna lose the game anyways, but that's not exactly ideal. 15 more Banelings working on in. We haven't seen the first Lurker hit in the field, but look at the blinding cloud shutting down all four tanks at the front. There are a few more in the back, but the blinding cloud gets reapplied on those frontline tanks to be able to obliterate those. Very nice engagement for Rainer. Big mistake from here, Marine. Clumping out those tanks. But that's those are forced errors. That's like, you know, Rainer jumping on him. And now the Lurkers are going to get morphed on in. Plus one missile has completed. We'd love to see a plus two missile coming on in. Bailey's going to try and roll on forward. We'll get a good amount of Marines. None of them getting into the meta back right away. This one tank does have 20 kills. Ooh, meanwhile, Hydra's going to come on in. They will find these Lurkers. Looks like some Banelings. A lot of uh, SCVs getting hit by one Baneling. And as Rainer finds the army on the left side, he will take another game. Uh, we are going to be seeing a Reaper into Marine. Big shocker. Everyone's surprised. No one expected that. Here, Marine does scout, make sure there's no pool first, and Rainer will take the uh, third hatchery at 28 supply. Oh, no, at 30 supply. As he sees the Reaper coming towards the natural, he says, you know what, I can build two more drones before I need to build that. Why not even take it a step further and start up uh, gas? We actually saves the money in order to save a drone? No, I guess not. But there we go, Ling Speed will start on up. Uh, nice little maneuver from here, Marine. Picks off a Ling. Forces a Spore Crawler to be built. And that's wasted money. That's uh, 75 minerals for a Spore Crawler. You get three quarters of it back, which means you lose out on 19 minerals. Is that right? Doesn't sound right. 18 minerals. Either way, it's uh, effectively four mining trips because, you know, there's nothing you can do with two minerals. It only goes in uh, orders of five. Unless you're Terran, in which case you can repair. Oh, look at this, what we're going to be seeing from here, Marine. He's going to be going for a third command center, 2-1-1. I love this. We don't get to see this often anymore. I think this is going to be the four Hellion variant. I don't think he's going to go for more. For a little while, there was only two. You would just go two Hellions, and then you go into a uh, third, into a 2-1-1. But it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing that anymore. 
Hellions will move on forward. Oh, they're going to try and get in for a run by. Oh, look at the split from Raynor. Doesn't matter at all because they're three slow Zerglings, but that was still sexy as hell. Meanwhile, Reaper going to try and get into the main base. We'll actually get a pickoff here. Ooh, is he going to be able to get any drones? No, he will not. He gets one drone total, and it was the Reaper that got it. What a magnificent defense out of Raynor. And this is a great scout from Raynor, and he's going to find the very quick uh, very quick double gate, or double barracks. And he'll see the reactor, see the starport, and he'll know that this is a third command center 111 or 3CC 111. Or sorry, 3CC 211. What am I talking about? It's almost like I've been casting for a while. Almost. Uh, but yeah, so once again, make sure to hit the follow button on this channel. This is where uh, quite a bit of the action of King of Battles, the King of Battles 2, will be taking place. And of course, you won't want to miss that. Ooh, this is going to be Hellbats. It is going to be... Oh, look at this. He's swapping it back on for more Hellions. So it's not going to be the 3CC 2 on one per se, so much as he's just getting a lot of Marines. He's going to go back into heavy... Uh, Hellion production. Oh. Oh, just a little bit. Hang on. How many Hellions is this going to be? This is going to be four Hellions. So, well, this is this is funky. Is there a Bane Nest? There is. Are there Bane Links? There will be. All right. So, yeah, he's he's prepared for this. Did he scout the armory? No, he just, he's he knows that this is dangerous. He knows that there's four Hellions that were produced, and he knows that he could fall to this. If he's not careful, Armory will now complete. And Marines are going to try and get one of those Queens. Transfuse does come down. Rainer, excellent defense already. God, and all this achieved so far was picking off a couple of creep tumors. And I tell you, that is not... That is not enough. Now, the good thing about this is... Third Command Center, of course, is done. Which means that Hero Marine's economy is in a great spot. Oh, he does get Supply Block... Very, very badly, though, just now firing up a depot. Going to be forced to drop... Well, he already dropped one depot top out. Uh, now a second one has been used. You want those for mules. We're going to see a scan... A, uh, an overlord getting picked off by this single drop. Rainer actually has ever so slightly faster upgrades. Particularly, his plus one carapace is faster. We are going to be seeing the Bane Speed completing and very quick Hydra Den as well as Hydra Speed for Raynor. Raynor's just in a really nice spot. He has become such a terrifying opponent. Oh, and a nice find for Hero Marine. Going to be uh, seeing these Banelings as they morph on in. Oh, look at that. He actually killed the uh, cleaning bot before cleaning up those Zerglings. He says, I'm the cleaner here. How many gases do we have? Six gases. The seventh one coming down for Raynor. Is he just going to go for a big Hydraling Bane? A big Hydraling Bane attack. He's on 85 drones. In theory, he could. But we got a second factory coming down for Hero Marine. He was on three racks for quite a while. So just now getting up to the uh, fourth and fifth barracks. Drop's going to get pushed back for now. Rainer is going to start droning up once again. Plus two carapace, plus one missile, or plus two carapace, plus two melee? I... Uh, we'll see. We'll see in just a moment. Of course, you want to get the upgrade started up as quickly as possible. You don't want to lose any time. Would love to see a little bit of creep spread up into the main base. Will be that plus two melee, by the way. Ooh, looks like a bit of a fight coming in on the right side. A couple of Banelings connecting on one or two Marines, but more importantly gets the Medivac, which means those Marines... Well, there's not enough room for all these Marines. Five of them would get uh, left in the dust. Uh, here Marine seems to be loving this, like, three and four Medivac drop style. Ooh, Banelings! Oh, my God. Ooh. They hit center mass on those Marines. Took out 
a good number of them, took out nine of them, almost got like 15. Actually, yeah, look at all those wounded Marines. Oh, well, and now it becomes a double drop. <laughs> That's actually so cute from Hero Marine. Uh, Hero Marine, by the way, is up at 73 workers. His fourth command center is coming on down. He's got the uh, plus one vehicle plating on the way. Rainer. He is doing such a good job of keeping his creep spread up and running. Ooh, Sport Crawler getting taken out. We will see an infestation pit coming on down. Rainer. He is meeting every uh, everything that Hero Marine is, is thrown his way. Ooh, is he going to be able to get these uh, medevacs? He'll get one of them. But the Marines are actually in a great position. Oh, he gets the medevac. That is really nice. No Hydra uh, range. I wonder if Rainer will notice at this point. Ooh, Queen's getting forward a little bit off of Creep. Hero Marine doing a really good job of trading efficiently with these Marines. Oh, man, he's picking off so many Banelings. Almost all the Banelings going down in this force. Now, that being said, more of them are going to morph on in. But, man, phenomenal micro right there from Hero Marine. Ooh, but one medevac does get picked off. Nice little wraparound from Rainer. Drop on the left side. Not going to be able to get too much done. We do see the plus one missile starting up as soon as plus two carapace completed. And Hive is going to complete soon as well as that Lurker Den. <laughs> so much activity on the map between these two players. We are going to be seeing a big attack coming in from Hero Marine, or from Rainer. Going to catch a couple of tanks, kind of semi unseaged. Does pick them off. However, Hero Marine gets out with a majority of his uh, bio force. Hero Marine adding on, sorry, three additional command centers. I was going to say two more, but it's three more. Fifth hatchery. Well, yeah, Rainer's on five bases. He's going up to uh, 10 gases, actually. So that's going to be a lot of lurkers, a lot of vipers, a lot of heavy tech units for the Zerg. God, 10 gas Zerg is... That's scary. That is, And look at this. Immediately saturates those gases as soon as they're done and starts up a couple spines and a spore just to try and, you know, lock down this base. Speaking of locking things down, though, we are seeing uh, Fear Marine trying to clear out some creep. Really nice micro on these bio units. What? Rainer almost getting a med back. Not quite. This is going to get chased away. Oh. Actually, now it's Marines fighting Hydras. They are 2-2 Marines, and they will get cleaned up. On the other side, though, we do have that Sport Crawler actually getting a kill on one of these medevacs. Second one is going to escape. Wow, Hero Marine is so good at that hot pickup micro. So damn good at it. Killing off the spines is actually really nice, too, because it leaves the base a little bit exposed. Uh, sixth base has been denied. Hero Marine is doing a fantastic job. Phenomenal of trading efficiently. Uh, plus one missile, about to complete. Adrenal glands as well. Plus three carapace is done. We'd love to see plus two missile and then plus three melee. You just kind of juggle. Yeah, there it is. Plus two missile. And we should see plus three melee coming on down pretty soon. Uh, is there a Liberator range? No, there is not. But this is still a nasty position to deal with for these Liberators. Meanwhile, on the left side, in the middle of the map, I should say, a couple of units getting picked off. God, I love the one-two punches from Hero Marine. Ooh, Hero Marine already up to Ghosts. He's already up to nine Ghosts, in fact. God, Hero Marine is so active these days with his bio units. It's so incredible that during all of this, he was getting up to additional... Oh, the Spore Crawler will not get that uh, medevac. Hydralisk. Oh. Single Hydra shot would do it. Not going to do it, though. On the left side, it looks... Oh, my God. He just got a lot of bio with those uh, lurkers. Ooh, and the medevac does get taken down. Resources lost is dramatically in favor of Hero Marine at this point. Excellent trading over and over again, but this is something that is so difficult to deal with in the late game. Lurkers into your main base on top of your production. If Terran gets their production camped, that can be game right there. That that can just be an instant GG situation. Uh, plus three Carapace has completed. Oh, Liberator. 
Oh, looks like it got taken on down. Meanwhile, on the right side, we will see Raynor moving forward with a lot of Ling Bane and some Lurkers here. Lurkers going to be able to take out most of the Ghosts. Two of them do get picked off. Another two will get some snipes. 14 SCVs going down, though. Nice job from Raynor. And Hero Marine, because he's been investing so much in tech and army units, he actually doesn't have a big bank, so he's he's spending a lot of it right now. Seven SCVs being rebuilt at a time. Yeah, the resources lost is bad, but look at the income advantage. It's gigantic for Raynor over the course of this entire period. Probably, he's probably mined close to 10,000 more resources, well, 8,000 more resources than his opponent. Which means that in terms of resources lost, I mean, in aggregate, Raynor's probably ahead. Looks like Nidus Worm tries to get on up here, not going to be able to do so. Plus three melee is on the way. We should see plus three missile pretty shortly. Two, two, and a plus, or sorry, three, three, and plus two vehicle ship and armor. Ship, sorry, plus two vehicle plating, plus two vehicle and ship plating. Yeah, God, it's so, our brain is so confuzzled sometimes. Uh, we're going to see the ghost with tank support. You're not breaking through that. Ooh, meanwhile, though, Lurkers burrowing on top of a couple of tanks. Going to be able to take them out. However, Snipes will get three of the Lurkers in return. Ooh, he does get one ghost, though, thanks to the uh, missile turret actually drawing fire. 52 more Zerglings coming on in. Are we just going to see mass baneling from Raynor to try and smash the ghosts? It's really difficult unless you can get a flank because ghosts are actually quite quick. They move just about as fast as Stim Bio. Very difficult to deal with. How many Nidus Worms have been uh, attempted here? It looks like none. It looks like no Nidus Worms have been attempted. Meanwhile, Lurker on this... Oh! It's trying to fire, but the spine just disappears. I didn't know that. Spines disappear if they don't have ground to go through. Ooh, meanwhile, we are going to see a lot of... Uh, ghosts getting found here. Oh, the full surround. The 360 no scope surround. That's at like six dead ghosts. And this is a dead planetary fortress now. No bio here to cover. The reaction time from Irmory was not good enough. And the Bailey's going to roll in and get a lot more bio here on that side. It's just the ghosts remaining. Now, ghosts, incredibly powerful. But there are two Marauders, one Marine on the map. Now, three. 17 SCVs going down during all this. How often do you see that? Taking a look back at the income advantage, it's now getting worse. Up to 2,000 resources per minute in favor of Raynor. Raynor wants the rematch versus Max Pax the way that Spirit wants the rematch versus Raynor. Oh, well, actually, he, yeah, Raynor is on a bit of a revenge, uh, revenge hit, I guess, here. Triple overs here, gonna drop the Nidus Worm into the main base. This could be the, the killing blow. There's not a lot of bio to reposition. He will be able to block this. However, it's a bait from Raynor. He is going to try and get in on top of his opponent's units. There's a way too many ghosts here at the front. There are some Vipers with full energy, but EMP is going to be able to deal with them. That being said, there's no enhanced shockwaves. Hero Marine has been heavily pressured trying to deal with Raynor's uh, extreme aggression. Army value, by the way, is actually heavily in favor of Hero Marine right here, but we're about to see a bunch of Lurkers finishing on up, and that will bring things a little bit closer to parity. Still, with this many ghosts, I mean, it's a lot of ghosts. We are seeing a Greater Spire finishing on up here. Ooh, would love to see Raynor transfer a couple of drones. Ling's gonna come in on top of these tanks. Not enough ghosts here to cover them. In fact, the ghosts are kind of out of position. Baneling's going to crash in on some of the orbital commands. Does force a lift on one of them. The Baneling's getting in on top of the Ghost. Ghost, though, do get some decent splits. And they actually survive pretty effectively. Eight SCVs do go down. Oh, where's the nuke? Where's the nuke? Oh, looks like it was... hauled down and then cancelled, perhaps? Uh, by the way... Uh, now a 12,000 resources loss differential here. Bailey's going to try and come in on this planetary. Ooh, he's going to split them a little bit. Is this enough to kill the base? Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, so close. But he doesn't get it. Does get 18 SCVs, though, on the other side of the map. The double prong coming in from Raynor. He has continuously, continuously knocked Hero Marine off balance. But he has not knocked him out. 
Rainer is, he's still on an, an incredible economy. And at this point, he's now taking contested bases. So he's taking these two bases in the middle of the map. I, I love, 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 love that he takes this base on the top right. Lurkers are actually going to be difficult to bust up through. We also have the uh, plus... Man, he's already on plus one ship weapons, as well as the plus three ground armor. Oh god, the ghosts are going to try and come back in here. But once again, this is going to be a bit of a bait from Raynor. He's forcing Hirmarine to respect this. And then he is just bypassing. Oh, Bailey's in on top of the ghosts! Oh, only one or two of them going down, though. Planetary Fortress is actually going to survive. Meanwhile... More and more SCPs going down. Refineries will burn down, as will the sensor tower. 72 workers have gone down, and this is where things are starting to just get get to the, to the point of no return, I feel. God, that lurker killing off quite a few marines. And with that, GG is going to get called. It was an epic slugfest, but ultimately it does go in the favor of Raynor. And now he will get his date with Max Packs.